What's up, gang? Back again. It's your boy. It's your boy, Series Business again. Back again. Let me show you guys what progress I've been making. <laughs> Kind of put it on the back burner a little bit. Had to rebuild the 4060 on my Tahoe. Put this one on the back burner. 24 times swap. Nevertheless, here we are. Here we are at the timing cover. When I did the four time swap, I got a new gear. New time you set. I was gonna leave it in there. I just popped the reluctant on there. I was like, nah. After I removed the timing gear, it's really worn, man. Spend a lot of time in them up RPMs, man. That's what that'll do to you. So anyway, this was a cheap, cheap dirt last time you said I picked up about 40 bucks a while back, one year warranty. But this time, let me close it. Box at the auto zone. Just a little tip for you guys. I was I was looking for a timing set for a '92 Camaro, and they didn't give me any results, man. They only they pulled up some other timing set, but look for a timing set for O2 Express van. It's the same small block, you know, but they give you more options. And I got this one. The single roller right here. Now we got the new Sammy shit. Sure, that's the Holly right there. The Holly timing cover. Right, that's all. So, in case you guys don't want to find one, I'm doing a 24 time swap. This is the four time swap right here. <laughs> The four times we locked her. It's got the four going times. Bam, we getting rid of that. And we got the new the new hotness right here. Bam, warning, important. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. Alright. Check it out, man. Got the new CNC piece right here. Now I actually got two of them. I picked up two eggs. Pick the bush one. Got another bench right there. I might want this is for a double roller though. You can see the difference. One on 24. I mean they're both 24, but one of them is for the single roller and the other one's for the double roller. The shiny one's for the single and this green one's double. This room made this same one, but it looks like EFR too. I got this one off of eBay, but it can't come with no paperwork or anything. But as you can see, it's got a little indent right there. This one has a less of an indent. Anyways, I'm going with a single. Uh, we don't need to go. From what I read, we don't need to go to a double loader. So, bam, there it is, man. Coming along. Yeah, man, I got my mount set up. I'm going to mount it in my coils. Got the LSDC right there. 
So when I'm in here, I'm getting no pump. No bars to them, you know. Got it all under warranty, so. Never be no bad while we're in here. I think I'm popping this one in there. Using this one, but it doesn't work. I couldn't get it to work. So we used a different type of a step motor, I guess. <sighs> type of signal. Figured it was the same like a Tahoe and I could use it, but but anyway. Got my clothes right here, ready to mount. Right there, man, man. So you got what these look like. Once again, like that. There was my harness. For those of you who want to make your own harness, look. Man, I'm that hard, man. Piece of cake. A lot of people think you gotta spend a lot of money, but you don't. You gotta shop around. This time it goes like 80, 90 bucks, 100 bucks, tax and everything. Picked it up, 30 bucks on eBay, like 34 bucks shipped. Man, come on. What it did have, it was just a dude, JP welded it. The crank sensor home, I just drilled it out. No big deal there. Yep, you said money, man, but where's my oil? 